talking about mentoring. And uh, welcome to the program, Laura. Thank you, Steve. So mentoring means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Uh, talk to me about what you see mentoring as and why it's so important to somebody's career and, and their job in general. Well, uh, one one way of mentoring is to, I want to, I'm looking at a hero, I want to be at that position, so how do I get to where that person is? So you can ask a mentor that's on that level, and you can ask, how did you get there? And uh, learn from them, and they'll have some great suggestions on how to work the technical ladder, if that's where you want to go, or the managerial ladder, ladder I'm mixing my words, but yes. Another version of mentoring in my mind is also an effective networking technique. So I know I have certain goals in my uh, profession. These people will help me uh, accomplish those goals, but these people are the types of people that I need them to know more about me to promote me and get me in those positions. So I can also use it as a networking technique. So like we were saying, it goes both ways. I'm learning a lot from them, and they're learning something about me as well. Very true, very true. And, and I think it's really helpful, too, to mentor uh, and be the mentor uh, to, to people as well, because you know, that's the old saying that you learn as much by teaching as you do by anything else. Absolutely. So, yeah, if you can take time to help somebody else kind of move their career forward, you'll learn a lot about that process as well, even, though if, you've been, even if you've been through it. Uh, but it, it can be a good tool for that. And as well as um, helping them out with their learning and you learn more about them and vice versa, you will also be able to hand off some of the things that, that you no longer need to do. Right. And so you're freeing yourself off for a better position and giving them a better position too. So it's kind of like a, um, a relay race, so to speak. Very true, very true. And I, I think that mentoring um, doesn't really happen naturally. It, it, in, in my experience, at least, you have to sort of seek it out. You know, if, if you think that people are going to come to you um, without them knowing that you're open to it or without you actively seeking it yourself, I, I think that you'll find that you don't get a lot of activity on that front. But yet if you put yourself out there and say, look, I'd love to help you or I'm looking for help or something, I think you'll find that it can really... Uh, go much more quickly and much more effectively. And do you see I, that as well? A hundred percent agree. It, it doesn't often occur to people to ask for a mentor or to ask uh, to to mentor somebody. But the minute you put that offer out there, you know people realize, oh, that's a great idea, and they will will jump on the offer. Either way, to mentor or me be a mentee. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've had, in my experience, I've had some really good experiences with going to somebody and saying, could, look, can we grab lunch? Just start off by, let's grab lunch, you know, once a month. And I, I just want to talk to you about things that I see and hear what you're seeing and, and uh, not gossip. I, I want right. to learn, you know, I'm not, I'm not there to gossip, but I'm, I'm there to learn about, you know, what is the best way to do this? Here, here are my ideas. What, what, what is the best of this? of these and why, and how, how can I do better at this? Um, Excellent. That's been a really good you, way to start. And you put you uh, hit the nail on the head on a mentor-mentee uh, position. If you're the mentee, um, ordinarily the mentee takes on the responsibility for identifying the agenda of what uh, you're going to be talking about. So I always encourage the mentee to uh, be prepared with an agenda or a goal or a topic. Don't just show up and say, okay, this is my monthly meeting. What are we going <laughs> to talk about? Exactly. Because so yeah, you want to be respectful and value the mentor's time. Very and true. reverse goes, if you're the mentor, sometimes you'd like to jump in and say, well, this is what I see you're doing going wrong with your career. You know, mm. that's not your position either. Your position is to be a sounding board. You know, they come with you with some uh, topic or a request or something like that, and you don't go in there and fix it for them. You kind of help brainstorm them. You're more of a coach than right. a consultant. Right, right. I was going to mention the whole coaching thing. It's uh, mm. exactly what it is. Yes, yes, very true. Yeah, I, I've, uh, in the times that I've worked through this, I, I've seen if the mentee doesn't know that they're supposed to set the agenda, that's the first meeting. <laughs> you 
just sit there and just go, so what are we talking about today? Okay, well, the first phase of this is that you need to understand that I need to know what you need help with. Right. <laughs> so that's a very, very good point. So good stuff, good stuff. And, and in your coaching business, I, I'm sure that you see this quite a bit as well. You need to help people understand what they need to even be asking about and working through, and then yeah. you can give them the, the guidance on that. Actually, in the coaching business, you give them a um, welcome packet that identifies the expectations on both sides. And then every time uh, we meet, I give a client prep form that they go in there and fill it out. So it's kind of like a forcing function to have a, a think along before we actually meet. So. Nice. Very nice. Good stuff. Well, as always, thank you very much. Great counsel and great guidance. And uh, I certainly look forward to the next show. Thanks, Dean.